This is a construction update for the week of August 12th, provided by the City of Somerville, and read by me, Eric, of Somerville Media Center. And this will be my final construction update with you all. It's been a great summer, so let's get into it. Improvement Projects, Beacon Street Reconstruction. During work hours, on-street parking will be prohibited within the work zone. An MBTA bus route 83 will not service stops on Beacon Street between Washington Street and Inman Square. Sidewalks are expected to remain open. Please note that bright lights and loud generators will be used overnight during paving. We apologize in advance for any disturbances. During the week of August 12th, contractors plan to continue installing granite edging and paving the northbound raised cycle track between Washington Street and Park Street. When that section is complete, they'll begin installing the track between Kent Street and Oxford Street. Crews also plan to install conduit at Park Street. Please expect parking restrictions and bike lane closures at work zones. Green Line Extension During the week of August 12th, another crew plans to install micropiles for sound walls on Sycamore Street from Highland Ave to Medford Street. For more information about work throughout the corridor, please see MassDOT's construction update. If you need assistance for a GLX construction-related matter, please call the 24-7 GLX hotline at 1-855-GLX-INFO or email info at glxinfo.com. Sacramento Street Underpass Rehabilitation During the week of August 12th, crews will finish demolishing existing concrete structures, then new stairs and ramps will be reconstructed over the course of an estimated three weeks. Once the concrete cures, Field measurements will be taken for new railings. The underpass will remain closed until later this fall. Somerville Ave Utility and Streetscape Improvements Starting Monday, August 12th, the current daytime detour for eastbound traffic on Somerville Ave will be expanded. Motorists, cycles, and MBTA buses will be directed right onto Webster Ave, left onto Prospect Street, straight onto Washington Street, then right onto Medford Street, back to Somerville Ave. Two additional bus stops on Route 87 inbound will also close for the duration of this detour. In addition to the already closed Somerville Ave at Prospect Stop, starting August 12th, the Somerville Ave at Linden Stop and the Somerville Ave at Mansfield Stop will not be serviced. Temporary service will be offered at other bus stops nearby on Prospect Street and Washington Street. See the MBTA website for service advisories or the Detours tab of the project website for maps and more information. This diversion is estimated to be in place through approximately October 2019. It will enable contractors to continue installing the box culvert drainage infrastructure between Merriam Street and Prospect Street. Between Prospect Street and Stone Ave, crews are continuing utility work, backfilling and working towards restoring the stretch of the roadway. Somerville High School Building Project if you couldn't make it to the topping off ceremony this past Monday, not to worry. A second ceremony will be held when the final beam of the new eastern wing is installed. If weather permits, contractors plan to place concrete floor slabs for the first level of the western wing early Monday, August 12th. Trucks will arrive starting at 3 a.m. and School Street will close between Highland Ave and Medford Street from 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. Project officials estimate repeating the process weekly three or four more times. If you live near the high school, please ensure you're enrolled in the city's alert system to be notified in advance. Starting Monday, August 12th, parking will no longer be available along the Central Library driveway off of Highland Ave. SHS contractors will move into the area to construct permanent utilities and foundations for the eastern wing of the new school. Two parking spaces on Highland Ave and Walnut Street have been reserved for people with disabilities. To learn more about parking on Central Hill, come to the next quarterly meeting on the subject this Thursday, August 15th, at the Winter Hill Community School. Washington Street Water Main Upgrades Contractors will continue installing temporary piping on Washington Street between Beacon Street and Hawkins Street, which will provide water service when the existing main is decommissioned for upgrades. Some residents will experience interruptions to their water service during construction. Sign up for the City's Alert System to ensure you're notified in advance. Pavement and Sidewalk Management Program Powder House Boulevard. Weather permitting, starting August 12th, crosswalks and stop bars will be installed on Powder House Boulevard between Ale Life Brook Parkway and Powder House Square. Alternating two way traffic is expected to be maintained during installation, but on site police details may close the road for safety reasons. For more information about plans for Powder House Boulevard, 
please visit somervillema.gov slash Powderhouse Boulevard. Sidewalk reconstruction will take place at Medford Street from Partridge Ave to School Street. Additional utility work. Utility companies are responsible for notifying residents prior to conducting any work. But we expect parking restrictions and lane shifts due to the following utility work. Detail officers may close a road if deemed necessary for safety. West Branch Library Renovation. College Ave. Park Ave to Chapel Street. Utility installation planned through August. Two-way traffic is expected to be maintained. Eversource Gas. Cherry Street. Dearborn Road. Osgood Street slash Laurel Terrace. Pearson Road. Prescott Street. Spring Hill Terrace. National Grid. Washington Street. Crescent Street to Franklin Street. This construction update was provided by the City of Somerville and read for the last time by me, Eric, of Somerville Media Center. For the latest information, visit www.somervillema.gov detours and have a great rest of your year.